Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast Show. This is part two of Introduction to the Angel Art Diaries. I totally recommend you watching the first part so you understand completely what I'm doing here and what I'm showing you. Even if you skip around to certain parts or even skip towards the end of the first video, but I definitely recommend for your own purposes, for your own benefit, to listen to the first part of this series. And then you can uh, understand, you know, what's going on and what I'm doing. I originally had it in one full video, but because it was so lengthy, I didn't feel that it was beneficial to everyone uh, because of it being like 45 minutes long. So what I did is I split it down and I put the introduction of the Angel Art Diaries in the first part. And the second part is actually the guided meditation at the end of it, as well as the description of the very first Angel Art Diary entry that I ever had. And it's really cool. So I want you to hang in there and stay tuned because I will be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. I ask that we all come together and teach each other through the messages that I am receiving. I share these diaries with you again to help raise the vibrations of the world, bring like-minded individuals together, and share healing messages with you and anyone else that may stumble upon them. The Angel Art Diaries are like a scroll of life. They show us which path to take, and what each path will bring, depending on the choices that we make. So here I begin with the very first of the Angel Art Diaries. I have titled each one, and each one comes with a poem-like message from the angels, which will help you understand the messages and the metaphors within each entry. You can download this specific diary entry at www.spiritualonlinecourses.org forward slash free dash resources. That link will be in the show notes. With that said, I proudly and excitedly introduce to you the Angel Art Diaries. I bring to you in date order pieces of the puzzle of life as well as the messages they bring and the messengers that brought them. So this is the first drawing that I ever did. This is the first angel art entry. So consider this drawing the first page of this diary. So I ask you to pause this video go to www.spiritualonlinecourses.org forward slash free dash resources and download the Angel Art Diary entry so you can follow along with me. If you can't stop and download and you're listening while you're driving or doing something, it's okay. You can always go back to it later. Just mark the time, which is about 20 minutes into the podcast, that you can go back and listen to the description. So go ahead, if you can, and pause this video. Go download at the link. It's also in the show notes. And I'll be right here when you get back. Okay. Now, again... 
This is the very first drawing that I did. Consider it the first page in a diary. Consider this page the purpose to the story or the plot. That's the word I was looking for. The plot of the story. Because that exa is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to see a story begin to form within these pages. So I really stress that you follow along with every one and download each one because after we do a few, like I'm talking maybe three to six months down the road, we're going to start putting them together like a puzzle picture. And you're going to be amazed because this is what I'm just starting to do now. These are entries from, they started in 2004, I think it was. So these have been drawn for a very long time already. I have over 30 plus journals of drawings and dreams and all kinds of different entries that I'm going to share with you so you can open up your psychic abilities just like I did. And I'm living proof that no matter what you're dealing with in life right now, that you can do it. You got to commit to it. Okay? And this is what this drawing is about. It's about this, the first one that I'm ready to tell you about. Okay, so if you're looking at it, that's perfect. If you're not, take a look at it later and go to approximately the 20-minute point of the um, podcast or video and you'll see uh, this is where we'll start with the descriptions and the symbolic values. So what this picture shows is angelic beings watching over a red seat with a demon-like being glaring up at the angels as they smile. It shows a red chair with flames or smoke coming from it, sort of energetically. The chair symbolizes the direction we will choose, the spiritual or the physical ego. The demon-like being that is shown symbolizes the ego. This is why it looks somewhat evil with larger teeth gnashing together and red demon-like eyes. What the angels are showing me in this drawing is that the choice that we have made is to stay with spirit. We could remain in the ego, which is the physical, or we can begin a new spiritual journey towards transforming our lives into our purpose, our passion, and our mission. Now, the way the ego is shown, sort of human demon-like, doesn't mean that humans are demons, nor are they evil. What it symbolizes is the ego, which is negative emotions, such as power, control, greed, unforgiveness, which is evil if we allow it to take over our lives. We all experience those emotions once in a while. So don't go judging yourself if you feel a little jealous here and there. It is what you do with the emotions. How you respond. Are you going to allow the jealousy to make your day bad? Are you going to give the person that is causing the jealousy your power? It's how we respond to those emotions. This is what's important. So looking at the entry, the hot seat is empty with the demon being looking up at the angels. I'm pretty much pissed off. <laughs> While the angels are all smiling and happy like, yee we got them. <laughs> now, I receive a poem or a message or a poet I'm sorry, a poem-like message that is with each drawing. The one that goes with this, this specific entry, goes like this. A fight, a fight, an ego and a light. The seat is gone, the fight is won. A light, a light. I'm going to repeat that one more time with a little bit more expression, but I wanted to make it clear so you can understand it. 
A fight, a fight, an ego and a light. The seat is gone, the fight is won. A light, a light. Now you can see with my expression that it's a little bit more hooray-like, which is at the top of the, of the drawing as well. It says, an empty hot seat, hooray. So think about it like this. A fight, a fight, an ego and a light. The seat is gone, the fight is won. A light, a light, hooray. <laughs> you like that? I can get really, really expressive on here. Watch out. <laughs> so again, this portrays the choice that we have made. And that choice is to follow our spiritual path. The shapes that are shown around all of the angelic beings are a heart, a rectangle or square, and a triangle. They're each individually surrounded by a bright yellow light, then outlined around all of them by another yellow light, which embraces all of the shapes. We're going to go with golden with the yellow, just so you know for future reference. Each light symbolizes divine protection from negative energy. The outer golden line has electrical-like energy going into the heart, swings around the bottom and goes around all the shapes and then connects to the divine or spirit. So this portrays a connection from the heart to spirit. There's five black lines beneath the yellow or golden line, which we'll review a little bit in this uh, entry. But there's three shapes. Each one symbolizes a plane of existence. The mental, the physical, and the spiritual. The mental plane of existence is symbolized through the heart. The heart is the focus of physical and spiritual being and represents the central wisdom of feeling as opposed to the head wisdom of reason. It's compassion and understanding, life-giving and complex. It's a symbol for love, often known as the seat of emotions. The heart is synonymous with affection. Now, remember me telling you about the hot seat? This is telling us that there is a need to work on feeling with the heart instead of reasoning with the head or the mind. This means taking our hearts out of our heads and start to think differently. See things through angel eyes without the ego getting in the way of the truth. With that said, the heart symbol in this specific diary entry represents the mental plane of existence. The square, which symbolizes the physical plane of existence. The square or a triangle, I mean, I'm sorry, a uh, rectangle, has four corners and four sides okay so the four corners of the rectangle symbolizes the opposite of spirituality and what google.com says about the square symbol is this the circle will represent things that are spiritual and sacred in nature the circle symbolizes the sacred earth the square or rectangle symbolizes the opposite the meaning of the square is about the physical world like a circle that is split into quarters, the square will indicate north, east, south, and west. So when I see the directions and the four sides of the square, this brings to mind the universe, the earth, the four cardinal points, the four major seasons, the elements, and, and the alike, thus representing the physical plane. Let's move on to the triangle, which is the symbol for the spiritual plane of existence. Now, the meaning of the triangle is explained as this. The symbol of the triangle represents being grounded, but the top of the triangle representing the soul is pointing up to heaven, having the ongoing connection between heaven and earth. 
The triangle also represents the Holy Trinity. For example, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, or the Maiden, the Mother, and the Crone. Now, in this diary entry, the triangle is pointing up, which tells me the triangle is symbolizing the spiritual plane, the connection between physical and spirit, and balancing the two. Remember, I told you that there is an electrical-like energy that goes from the heart up to spirit? That's where this comes in. It's bringing it all together and balancing them. Because we need to balance our lives. We need to stay grounded in this reality to survive. Even though we're spiritual beings having a earthly experience. <laughs> we still need to earn money to live. But do it in a spiritual and servicing way with compassion and love. Being that they are all surrounded in golden light tells me that this is a spiritual and transformational journey of learning lessons and transforming your life into something amazing. Now, if you notice, beneath the golden line of spirituality lies five black wavy lines, which symbolize negative emotions or energy that blocks us from connecting with spiritual beings. Think of driving in fog. You can't see what's ahead, right? This is the same as being able to connect with spirit. The fog or negative energy or negative emotions need to be cleared out before we can see the truth and connect with our angelic beings. If we have negative emotions such as resentment, unforgiveness, greed, jealousy, or hatred, these will block us from seeing beyond the veil. So we need to work on clearing out those negative emotions before we can truly open up to what is hidden from the physical eyes. As we move forward with the Angel Art Diaries, you'll see it begins to tell a story of how we can do just that. So this is where the story begins of spiritually transforming our lives. It's all about the choices in what we decide to do. It's up to you and all of us to choose what we want for our own lives and our future generations because we create our reality. As the Bible says, a house divided cannot stand and we cannot serve two masters. So which will you choose? Now there's some symbolization through color in this entry as well such as the red chair, the being with red eyes, the red scars on the face of the ego. Red is the color for the root chakra. This color symbolizes the physical needs and survival. Red also can symbolize anger. And there's red marks or scars on the ego's face, which symbolizes healing and changes that are necessary from conditioning and programming here in the physical or earthly realm. It also can symbolize that there's anger that needs to be released from experiences or situations from your past. So I ask you to ask yourself these few questions. Is there anyone that you're angry with for hurting you in the past? Is there anyone that you treat badly? Does anyone cause you to feel negative or bad about yourself? Are you happy with your job or your career? How are your finances? And are you happy with your life the way it's going right now? So ask yourself these questions and this will bring you to some awareness of what is going on in your life. And you can also do the balance wheel, which is in the previous podcast. So there's black outlines around the mouth of the ego. This symbolizes what's coming out of our mouths, whether it be gossip, talking bad about others, speaking negatively, or speaking with compassion and love. And this is about anything in our lives, whether it be your, yourself, your family, other people, or just the world in general. It shows that we are the ones that create with thought and speech. 
Start to speak positive about yourself and others. Stop judging others. Look within your own eyes. When we see fault within others, it's usually because we're not seeing something that we're doing ourselves that we're not happy with. Usually, it's something that we don't like about ourselves. And remember, what we speak is energy. When we are targeting someone else with our words, we are pointing those words into their energy. So start digging deep within yourself and ask yourself, why? Why do you feel this way about the other person? Then you can go back to the previous questions under the symbol for red. Now, on the ego, his head is filled with the color brown. Yeah, it it looks like hair, I know. (laughs) But symbolically, it's showing that our minds are filled with mud. This is our our thoughts. We need to think and speak positive and with love and compassion in our minds. So we can create just that. Love and positive energy in the world. Why? Because happiness is contagious. That's why. (laughs) The colors that spark from each of the angels' head is the light that they shine upon us to help us with each plane of existence. For example, in the physical world, in the triangle, we need more love to overcome the greed and the selfishness. This brings balance to our lives for the next plane of existence. So there are angels that have pink on above their head, which symbolizes the heart chakra and love, while there are some angels with pink and blue, which symbolizes balance of the feminine and male energies. Now, to explain the color symbolization, I've posted something on the activity page in Community Akasha, so you can see it when you log into the spiritual community. This will show you what different colors symbolize, and again, nothing is written in stone, so, you know, the colors that show up, I will explain to you in each entry, But this is just the basic, so you can get an idea and maybe even study the colors to learn them yourselves. Now, again, this is the very first entry of the Angel Art Diaries. So it holds the plot of the story that is to come. And this came from an amethyst point crystal. Now, the amethyst crystal is an extremely healing stone, which helps to raise intuition and connections with the higher realms. I truly hope you stay with me throughout this journey of healing. I have over 30 plus journals of drawings and dreams and other things starting in 2004. (laughs) Unfortunately, this specific reading wasn't dated, but I know I started to date them not too long after I started to receive the messages through the drawings. Depending on your preference, each session will be available in different ways, going from video to blog post and from audio and downloads. So it all depends on how you best receive the messages and you best comprehend everything that I'm saying. I have a little exercise for you that I posted on the free resources page. This is going to give you a little practice time to Learn how to channel messages from your angels. So you can go get that on the free resources page, which is listed in the show notes. If anyone has any feedback, questions, sees symbolic values that were not shown, or has any healing messages that they feel can help with this specific angel art diary entry, please comment below or leave me a message in the community. And if you like this entry, please click the thumbs up or like button and share it on your social media channels. Sharing these drawings, sharing these diary entries, and explaining how we can receive angelic messages through something as simple as a drawing 
or writing is absolutely magical. And I would love for you to go on this journey with me down transformational lane with the angels. Don't forget to download your copy of this angel art entry and put it into a binder. Start your journal. Doing this will help create the changes that you need in your life. And you can always go back to them and review them just for a little reminder of how far you have come and how much you have accomplished. I'll talk to you in the next session of the Angel Art Diaries by Spiritually Speaking. Namaste. I always refer to my life as a cross between Jerry Springer and Oprah Winfrey. Now, I refer to my life as the Creator's divine plan to enhance the life of others. I was always the bruise on the apple of my parents' eyes, getting in trouble running away, drinking and using drugs from a young adult up to the time I got pregnant with my son at 17 years old. After my son was born, I went right back to my old ways, almost losing my son in the crossfire. And that's just the beginning of my story. Maybe you have some struggles that you're going through, or maybe something from the past that you want to let go. Well, I have the perfect way that you can help yourself change your life for the better. I have online courses that range from spirituality to metaphysical to holistic online courses that can help you learn all the elements of spirituality and change your life for the better. You can visit www.counciloflight.net. That's www.counciloflight.net. Start changing your life now.